the holopod slab consists of the holopods themselves. You can see the holopods, which can either be clay or concrete. These are concrete holopods. And the purpose of the holopod is so that we reduce the weight and the content of the concrete on a slab. They are hollow and they have been sealed on the sides. Then at the boundary, we have to have a solid rib, as you can see. When we come to inspect, we look at the edges, we look at the ribs themselves, we check to see whether the ribs are properly anchored on the edge bits. Walk along with me, you'll find you also have what you call a flat beam. Sometimes the span is too excessive, so the engineer recommends a flat beam. This is a flat beam of about uh, less than a meter, and its depth is the total depth of the slab. When we come to check, we check to see that the anchorages are properly done. The areas, the common areas of the corridors is a solid slab. So this construction is ready for concreting. But before that is done, the engineer has to check. Is the formwork clean? We have spacer blocks. We have stools so that if I stand on this, it's not sinking. That's what we check. And we go around. We also check the lap length for the BRC to make sure that it's properly planned. Once you see that everything is done properly, that's when now you go down to check the props, the supports themselves. Because during concreting, this slab will be subjected to very, very heavy load. And if the support or the formwork below this is not properly done and properly braced, then you have issues. And that has to be checked before the concreting starts. We also check the beams, the sizes, check whether they were done as per the structural engineer drawing. On this particular site, I find the contractor has managed to get it right and therefore they can be signed off but before that happens we should also check to see that the edges of the hollow pots have been sealed so that when they vibrate the concrete will not go through we also check a few areas like a close-up of this chip it needs to be sealed off that should be pointed out this particular block is chipped off so the contractor should use some method of sealing it off we normally just use paper polythene paper we tuck it in to protect the cement and the concrete from getting in so we normally check that in general then we check other places the details for example this is the ramp area we want to check whether the starter bars have been given proper length so that as we continue to the next level we have enough lap length and the lap length is dictated in this case not less than like 1.2 meters so that there will be a proper bond between this uh, reinforcement and the next the other person to come is the plumber the plumber should also come to make sure that the points of the waste and toilets and any other drainages have been properly put. The electrical engineer should also come to ensure that the electrical pipe work has been done and the, and the points have been put at the right places. So for this particular site then, we are good to go, we are ready. If you look down, there is uh, cement is already coming. It should not come too early, otherwise it will start uh, solidifying. So this site is ready for concreting in the next few hours. Thank you very much.